Hey guys, Ultra still here. We're continuing the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD. All right, so in the last part, uh, we got our first pearl, which is the Dins Pearl, and we also got our new sail, the Swift Sail, which makes us go faster. And when we, uh, you know, sail out in the sea, we don't need the Wind's Requiem Wind Waker song to, you know, control the wind to sail better. And in this episode. We're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy, because he's gonna teach us another Wind Waker song. So let's talk to him. <clears throat> oh, no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Hmm? Oh dear, pardon me. Pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Alright, so... Let's talk to him again. <clears throat> that magical dance that changes day into night and night into day. If only I can recall the rhythm. Oh, the rhythm! Then I can dance it perfectly. Alright, so take out your Wind Waker here. Alright, so, so Link's gonna be in his little animation where he can't, like, do anything. And then that's when he's gonna teach you the new song. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, uh, sha, uh, uh, sha. That's, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. You really feeling it? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah. So basically, what he's doing here is he's imitating the directions of. How you play the song, so it's right, left, down. Just use the right control stick. Alright, you'll learn the song of passing. That's it, that's it, and it's perfect, and perfect. Now the sun, now let the sun shine on. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Hmm. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened, nothing at all. Why? Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, so that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to learn. So, with this new song, basically what that does is it turns day into night and night into day. You may have seen this in uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time with the Sun Song, but this is very useful in the sense that... One second. <clears throat> Yo, hold up! What's a kid like you doing out of time like this? Are you about to take a look at the heavens, too? In that case, I'll get a better view from over here. So, uh, yeah, with that new song, now we can uh, do certain side quests that take place at night. Or if we're trying to look for things easier at night, uh, we have the, you know, song. So that's pretty good. Anyways, the reason I'm up here is because there's actually another side quest we can do. It's pretty short, though. So you want to take a picture of this full moon. Make sure it's full. And thanks to that new song, uh, uh, every time you make it nighttime... The moon cycle will keep changing, as you would have guessed. And what we're going to do with that photograph is give it to this guy later. So let's make it today. Alright. Let's see what's going on. So, uh, that guy is down over here. There he is. <clears throat> Nobody understands how I feel. Do me a favor. Beat it! What a jerk. How did he manage that? Right under my nose. But I guess he is an alright guy. What are we talking about? Pesky little brat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody. Not you. Not anybody. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? Completely. I couldn't care less as the other option. Uh, I probably should have put that. Oh really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? 
and I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of and show it to me. It's the moon, by the way, that we just took a photo of. If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. And I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me the pictograph. Alright, so let's take out the photo and show it to him. Ooh, that's right, that certainly is the pictograph I'm looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you've shown me, the full moon. Unrequited love may have twisted me up inside, but I can still find peace when I gaze at the timeless moon. And of all her phases, I particularly love gazing at the full moon. And there's one phase I don't like, and it's a certain time of the month. <clears throat> Anyways, I know I caused you a lot of trouble, but thanks. I really mean it. I want you to have this for all your efforts. Just a little reward for easing the pain of this troubled heart. Alright, so you get a treasure shard from him. I remember what I said, make sure you keep uh, opening up your shards when you're out at sea to get your rewards. <laughs> this supposedly has a spot in it that marks where some sunken treasure lies. I will have a boat, so I can't leave this island to go look for anyway. Tonight I'll be asking the night sky to help you find the treasure. Best of luck! Alright, so I guess he just needs some uh, understanding. So the next thing we're going to do is I want to show you guys uh, some use uses for the shoe jellies, or just shoe jellies in general. Remember, there's different kinds than just the red shoe jelly. Let's go to this guy over here. And what you can do is if you have at least five of any shoe jelly, you can give it to him. And he'll give you a free potion depending on which one you give him. <clears throat> Gasp! Is that... Could it possibly be? Did you, by any chance, bring me shoe jelly? It's quite clever of you to bring such quality ingredients to me. I'll take five of them if you can spare me. And to thank you, I'll give you one free serving. Not a bad deal. No, sir. At least I would if you had an empty bottle, but unfortunately you do not. Too bad for you. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you're ever uh, running low on potions, just go to that guy. He sells them pretty cheap, and it's a good deal. So that's just uh, something I wanted to show with the treasures. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I remember that side quest from Dragon Roost Island that we did regarding the uh, mails. Uh, you know, the mail ordering. And, you know. <clears throat> Good morning! Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's our letter. Basically, it was the side quest that involved us sorting the letters, and we had this one guy that uh, saw our record, and, you know, he wanted to thank us and send the letter to his mom. So, this is it. <clears throat> to my son Superior, thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your kindness, your continued kindness, towards my son, Kashiko Beto's mother. Sweet! So now we got two pieces of heart. That's a good start. Hey, that run. Okay. Whoa! Weird camera angle. So with that, all that out of the way, I think I'm pretty much done here for Windfall Island for now. So now we're gonna go ahead and... Let's see. I wanna show you the new sail and how cool it is. So we're gonna go down here. First, I wanna display how fast this thing is. To set your new sail, just press A again. See? The icon in the top right corner, it says fast. And uh, you'll notice that without the Wind Waker, we can actually just control the wind and the little arrow behind us is moving depending on where we move. So that's pretty cool and it's much more convenient and just more stress relieving. So that's just something I want to show off. So I'm going to skip to where we, right when we leave uh, Dragon Roost. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, really quick, I actually want to get this treasure shard that's that Dragon Roost that one. Remember, this is uh, what we've opened our shard for, and it looks like we got it. Sometimes if you have the uh, fast sail, you can actually see where uh, you know the spot is without having to look at the map just to accurately uh, know where it is. Um, so that's, that's another good use of the swift sail. So onwards to the South Island. So we're gonna go down here, and I might as well take out my bait, so that way we can discover the new island! Alright. Wait, don't take out your sail. 
I just love this music, it's so nice. Alright, let's see what's up. Woo, that is one burning island. And no, you cannot go on it, obviously, because you will get burned and get damaged. I should have to explain that. So here is Merman. Let's give him some bait so we can figure out more information about this island. Alright. Holy small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I think you want a sharp information about this island. And start by opening up your sea shirt. Alright. Heh, <laughs> Link's face. Fire Mountain. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you gotta go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear again, you'll have to throw me some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Alright, so that's just something, uh, you know, he wanted to tell us, and that's interesting. There's a treasure here inside of the volcano. But, uh, we're gonna go to this tower here, and something I should note, uh, now that we're here later, out, you know, now that we're here later in the game's, uh, campaign and story, you want to watch out for places that have seagull, uh, seagulls uh, flying around in circles. Uh, because in the middle of where they're flying, the center, lies a sea monster that you cannot defeat right now. It is impossible to defeat it right now, so make sure you don't matter. And with our new grappling hook, we can just immediately get a joint pendant from any enemy we use it on. So make sure you guys keep remembering that, because it is good to gather up on treasure right now. So yeah, speaking of those seagull spots that I was just mentioning regarding the sea monster, just be careful, okay? Because right now you can't beat it. We need a certain weapon, which we do not have yet. But hopefully we will soon. So let's continue going south. And like I said earlier, uh, there's also some enemies like those the turrets. No, not turrets. Uh, what are those things called? They're like blast cannons. We can't take those out yet. We need a certain weapon as well. So yeah, it's a little annoying. But maybe going. No, I'm not going the right way. Hold on. Trick me. Okay, so we go this way. And as you may have noticed, there's a light ring spot here. In the GameCube version, uh, something I should note, uh, each of these, in that version, uh, sometimes they hold red rupees or purple rupees. But in this version, they upgrade it so that way you can always get 50 rupees. So I think that's pretty nice and it's a good way to make money faster. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our quest, or our location, which is down here. Cyclones here. Let's try and jump in one of them. Let's see what happens. Woo! That was fun. And look, another uh, light ring spot for our treasure shards. Let's go and see what's in here. All right. Oops. Okay. So uh, we need to have a better way to see it. Well, let's open up one of our shards that we haven't opened yet. Aha! See, this shows you uh, how close you are to the spot. So it's better to just have the shard open and investigate yourself. Just that way you're more accurate. Whew. Hopefully we get a piece of heart or something, because sometimes these, tre these treasure shards lead us to good places. It's good items. 
We got any silver rupee. Not bad. All right, now we're full of money. <laughs> and uh, there's a weird statue on the island. I wonder what that's all about. Here's Merman. Let's give him more bait. As one freaky enemy up there. That's the Octorok. They're pretty dangerous. <clears throat> Boy, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a shard information about this island. And start by opening up your sea shirt. Okay, I'm okay, I'm not gonna keep saying that all the time, because you guys get the point. <laughs> However, I will be saying uh you know what what the information he has to offer for that island. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've beaten when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you that you you think that you finally met your match, if you got a fairy with you, and you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, Fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there! And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you know, you get the point. He already said this before. So, uh, we can't take that thing out right now. We're just gonna skip that island behind us. Uh, cause there's nothing really on it. I mean, this is kinda lame, so... We'll come back to it later. <clears throat> so let's look for that submarine that, uh, he just mentioned, cause that sounds pretty interesting. So right now we're just, uh, we're just exploring a little bit on the way, seeing what we can get. Ah, another island. Let's bring some bait for another island. I just love this whole game's exploration. There's like so much to see. Holy small fry! And you already get the point. Give us a sea shrimp. You gotta come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. They'll give you shivers, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw me some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Here you go. Like that, you're off. Okay. So here's a bomb island, like you just explained in the sea chart. Well, we're not gonna go there just yet because, well, those boulders can't really be broken. We've tried to destroy them on Dragon Roost Cavern, but we need bombs and we don't have bombs. So that's that. However, we did find the submarine that Merma was talking about, so hooray. <laughs> oh wow, I just like, attacked him and threw him into the water. That's convenient. So let's see. Give me some joy pendants, guys! I really need them! Ooh, watch out for the, um, rats here, because they are pretty annoying. <laughs> being difficult! Stop being difficult! Even though this is hero mode. Alright, and... Oh my, I thought I destroyed him already. There we go. Yeah, I already took a destroy pendant. Now let's see what we've come for all this way. You got an empty bottle! That merman guy was right. So that's pretty good. So make sure you guys come here because it is pretty useful. I'm just going to let you guys take those. Just because I'm so generous. Besides, I'm already maxed out on rupees anyway. Sorry for the train in the background. Yep. Nothing I can do about that. Let's go to that tower that's on the way to where the King of Red Lions wants us to go to, which is over there. Woo! Okay, sweet. Alright. More Book of Wins! Come on, buddy. What the? What hit 
behind me. That didn't make any sense. Jerk. You deserve to go out. Alright. Ooh, what's inside? Red Rupee. Yeah, it's kind of useless. So anyways, uh, let's continue. I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits for this part. And we're gonna, you know, do what we have to do in the next episode and head to our location. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Take care, peace, and have a good night. See ya.